What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cobble Kane. and I was thinking something today. Usually I make videos on like one-off products and that kind of stuff and the reason why I personally buy those products is because I need the stuff within for my master sets. Now for those of you out there that give EX boxes and all that kind of stuff a miss unless there's something really special like the Charizard EX special premium box that just went by. For people out there that want to collect every single variant for their master sets it's a little bit more tricky and sometimes you don't know where to go and usually I'm kind of like ahead of the game in that sense of what I gotta do here and there but they're like I said a bit tricky because they're in different products and sometimes you just miss it. So I figured I'd make like a bit of a new series. I'll add all the other stuff to the playlist as well that kind of falls into this category of what you need for your master sets going onwards. Now what we have here is um it's gonna be a little bit weird, right? So it's the EX Battle Decks. Now, the reason why I got these, not only because of the promos on the front, but if you do have a look at the back, you will go into like, there'll be like sort of like brief card lists, which I'll show up close shortly, but you'll need these for your variant master sets going forward. I believe they're for like Paldean Fates and that kind of stuff. And then also to go along with it, we have the Houndstone EX box, which has obviously your Jumble promo, a Scarlet Violet promo, but also another variant in the box here. So I'll just open this up just ahead of time, just so we see what we get inside, seeing as we're in the top view right now. So opening it up, obviously our promo and our variant, our Jumble promo right there for Houndstone, and then we get two packs of Fire Masquerade and Stellar Crown right there. So we'll put that aside. And then obviously we have our Victini EX Battle. We'll pry this one open. Now, usually, again, it's kind of hard to tell what you need. And it's these EX Battle Decks and the... Um, what's it called? The EX Battle Decks and the Build and Battle Decks when, you know, when they release around pre-release days and all that kind of stuff that'll have a whole bunch of variants that you do need. And that is my job today, to kind of give you a little bit of a, a crash course, and also a crash course in how to open these things. Um, because not all the EX Battle Decks have variants. They'll all have mostly a promo, unless you're getting like those Battle League decks. But mostly, they have a variant inside that you will need. But not always. It's a little bit weird, okay? It's 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 a bit back and forth, right? Okay, so in the front here on the battle decks, obviously you uh crack it open on the side like so. And you've got your promo, which we'll get a closer look at shortly. And you have all your like, you know, your little playables and counters and all that kind of stuff. We don't really need those, not interested in those. And you get a little EX coin, which we'll just chuck over to the side. Uh, da, 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 da. So same thing from the right on one, you've got your promo, all your counters and coins, and then the EX coin, chuck that to the side, and these are the little pre-made decks which the variants will be inside. So let's go into the close-up mode. Alright, so now that we're a little bit closer up, we've got our little pre-mates here, our four packs from the Houndstone box. Our two SVP promos, as you can see, Black Star promo down below there. So I personally keep these in their own binder, which I will show off at one point once that whole binder is complete. That one's an absolute work in progress. So that's the two ones that you'll need. Um, I'll go into a little bit of a uh, detail with the X Battle Decks. So if you look at the back here on these Battle Decks, It'll kind of give you a fan of cards. It'll give you a brief card list of what to expect inside. Unfortunately, they do not show you the um, the set that they come from. So you kind of have to go with a visual on the back. So if you know your cards, you can kind of figure out what sets they're from. So if we just look along the back here, there's a Magma and a Magmorta. And I believe that Magmorta is from Paldean Fates or Paradox Rift. That's going to come as a non-hollow. And then you go a little bit over and that's Skelly Dirge. And I believe that's a non-hollow Skelly Dirge from SV Base. So all your sets are going to start getting cards 
flicked into them. Some of them have a lot, some of them won't have many, some of them won't have any at all to add. So the same thing with the Maridon one, you go through, and I believe this one only has one, which would be that Raichu there, and I think that's from 151. So the only way we're going to find that out is we open up the decks. So this is the Maridon one, obviously. So you crack this open, and these are like pre-constructed decks for you to learn with and modify and all that kind of stuff. They don't, they're not usually that competitive, but they kind of give you an idea what to expect. So you got your Electrode, Voltorb, and there's your Raichu. And this is probably the only way you're going to get this Raichu <laughs> is uh, this box. I don't even, because there's no build and battle for Paldean Fates. And this uh, Maridon box is the only way you're going to get this variant. Yeah. You can see why I wanted to make this series, because it does get very convoluted when you're trying to figure out where the variants are coming from, where they're flying in from, and all that kind of stuff. So, you're going to get Raichu from the Maridon EX Battle Deck. And I don't believe... Ah. I believe Cyclizar came in one of the Build and Battle Decks as a non-holo. So if you did miss the Battle Deck for Cyclizar, Cyclizar does come in here as well. This is also for SV base, as you can see there, SV1. So you'll need this as well. So you kind of double up on this one, which is good. And then the rest is nothing. I believe one of the battle decks does have a boss's orders in there that's a non-holo. So you'll probably need that at some point. One of them has it. So yeah, so you're going to come with two Raichus in here. Two Cyclizars. So I mean, if there's anyone out there that might need these, I probably have of your backs to cover this one so in the Maridon one you have these two which are non-holo exclusives one from Paldean Fates and one from SV1 don't know why I said MEU for that one there but yeah oh that's right because <sighs> they reused the same art from Raichu from <laughs> from 151 it wasn't like a complete full reprint it was just like it wasn't a different it was an alternate art reprint it was a full one-to-one -one reprint. So this is from Paldean Fates of this Raichu. So we're going through the Victini one now, and there's your Skelly Dirge, your non-holo Skelly Dirge from SV1. So that's where you're going to get this guy. There should be another one. There you go. There's Magmorta from SV from Paldean Fates as well. Uh, Magma, Tauros, not one. Another Cyclyza, Rika, Nimona. All the other junk. There's another Magmorta. Now the Skelly Dirge. And I don't... Oh, there's another Skelly Cyclizer. I don't believe there's anything else. But obviously there's a lot of EX Battle Decks out there. There's another Magmorta. So yeah. If you're ever wondering out there as a collector, do I buy the Battle EX Decks for any reason? I'm sorry to say that if you are someone that is trying to hunt all the variants, this is going to very much be the wake-up call of unfortunately yes if you want everything because not many people really hold on to these or know what they're used for like if anyone actually out there does buy battle ex decks it's the competitive players and even rarely they probably buy like a trainer's toolkit or something and then just stock up on bulk as everything goes through but for collectors unfortunately these kind of things are kind of hard to find because they're just it's just one of those things that goes under the rug like people don't really realize so that's why i want to make this thing so ahead of time so you know what to get before they go out of sale moving on to the houndstone stuff so obviously let's just take this out so we can reduce that glare from these terrible lights one day i'll replace them i say this a million times already but it will happen it will happen so this is our houndstone svp or sv promo this one so obviously again goes into the book black star down yonder to the side and then this is your grievard variant i believe this is a cosmos hollow here from obsidian flames so yet another reprint or a variant reprint you'll need that for your master sets if you're going for a full variant master set um i'll start covering all the pokemon play prizes as well soon that one is going to be a very big doozy. It might be one that you want to miss out on doing, just because it, it's, I think, by the time they finish all the prize packs for Scarlet Violet, it's going to add quite a, many, many, many variants. So there's your Grievard. So Houndstone EX box obviously needed. <sighs> if 
the other part because we get a little bit of bonus we get to open some packs um thankfully there's two twilight masquerades in there so we don't know if it's going to be a you know a where is greninja moment so we've got two stellar crown so obviously i don't buy these battle ex boxes or these um these boxes expecting anything to be perfectly honest my luck with these uh, little random small boxes are not very good. Okay. <laughs> I shush now. I shush now. That's not too bad. Grand Tree. Awesome. We get these for the variants. We get these for the promos. And then that's good enough for me. Um, and if we get anything inside, then yay. So we got something inside. We got a Grand Tree A spec. Followed by potentially... Whoa! Okay, just wish into existence. Just, just naysay it and, and okay, okay. So we've got a milkery, we got a sparkling crystal, and we've got a grand tree, and that's just out of two packs. Okay, so this Houndstone EX box it's paid itself off. Maybe Greninja. Who knows? If it's Greninja, then I'm just gonna go out and buy myself a Slurpee or something. I don't know. I party hard. Alright, let's see what's in our Twilight Masquerade packets. Going forward. Gina, Rofort, Palafin, Applin, Palafin, and Heatran. Alright, last packet. Give us something good. Let's have a look see. Whew. Here we go. Growlithe, Monferno, Nosepass, Jinx. Sunflora, Boomerang Energy, Rifort, Tinsa, and unfortunately nothing. Twilight Masquerade is a horrible, horrible set for me. But we did get three hits out of that box, which is actually pretty dang cool. That's a lot more than what I was expecting, so sweet. And then besides that, obviously, we have our variants. We have our non holo variants from the Battle EX decks. So yeah, a little bit of a different video like I mentioned before. Let me know if this video is actually helpful to you going forward. Um, I'm really pedantic about searching for the variants, but I just like kind of thought about it today because I actually picked up the Victini EX Battle Decks a week ago and the place that I picked it up from didn't have the Maridon one. And I found the Maridon one today along with the Houndstone EX box and I was like, I don't really cover what pops out of these because I feel like it didn't really matter but then I realized that quite a lot of variants come out of the EX battle boxes or battle decks I should say and no one really covers them when it comes to master sets and that kind of stuff or like a lot of master set guides out there kind of miss them a little bit like it's just like kind of goes under the radar because you don't really think about it. like oh yeah battle EX is just for competitive players <gasps> just throw it to the side but they do have an abnormally like, like I said, some of them have a few, some of them have one, and then some of them have zero. So unless you're hunting for the promos on the front that are inside, you'll probably give a lot of them just a complete miss. Uh, because sometimes the promos on the front are like just, they don't have any promos, like the Battle EX decks, the, the, the Battle League decks. They just reprinted inset EX cards and all that kind of stuff that aren't special at all. They're not even considered a variant. They're just kind of there to make it easier for competitive players to get into the game like the i think it's a terror brawlers ex box or something i was going to cover that but it's like no point because they're direct reprints they're what you can pull from the packet um and there's literally nothing special about them besides here's all your competitive cards in one hit so going forward i will be making this a series whenever like you know little products like this come out um the EX boxes and all that kind of stuff, I believe I'll put under the same roof of this kind of series because they have the variants inside, so it's all in one neat and tidy space for you to kind of like go over and like, oh, I missed that one, I missed that one, I missed that one. And eventually, a couple years into the future, once they've completely finished reprinting Scarlet Violet variants and everything, and I redo all my master sets and everything, I'll probably redo like a V2 of all the master sets, and hopefully by then they make slightly bigger books than I'm using now because... I reckon by the end of it, each set will have at least 20 to, I don't know, maybe maybe 20, 25 cards in each extra, which is a lot of shuffling around, all that kind of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it was helpful. 
Let me know in the comments below. You guys take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one.